If you haven't found a summer internship for 2025 yet and if you are from a CS related degree program then this video is crucial. Today I am going to share some very important summer coding programs which are almost as good as big tech internships because people who have done this in previous years have gone on to land good CS jobs in Silicon Valley and some with even big tech companies. So while you keep looking for an industrial internship, go for these programs, build a portfolio because this will massively help you in the job hunt. I'm sharing the crucial details. Some of the deadlines are really close by. So apply ASAP. All the details on other side of this intro. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's uh, it's weird because people don't realize how quickly their first year of masters go by and if you're not very proactive if you do not apply for internships in a timely manner then you can end up in a very tricky position and especially in cs or tech related fields some big companies close their summer internship programs as early as december now i understand that last two three years anyways the job market has been tricky so I've been receiving messages that we have not like landed a summer internship yet. People are panicking what to do. So at least in this video today, I'm going to focus on tech related programs and these summer coding programs are excellent. So definitely apply for them while you keep your job hunt, summer internship hunt on, but do not miss these deadlines. In fact, I apologize that this video is not properly edited and all. I'm recording it on the go because deadlines are very close by. So let's look into what programs you can apply for summer 2025 if you're from CS related degree programs. I will be talking about five or six programs today but before we begin please consider subscribing to the channel if you find the videos useful and especially if you're aspiring to study in US and if you think this video helped you do hit the like button it really helps me with creating more content like this. All right, so I want to get started with the biggest opportunity for the geek, for the coding nerd kind of students, and that is the Google Summer of Code. In fact, I, I talked to one of the uh, uh, ex-clients and he was not able to land a summer internship, but he did Google Summer of Code and later on he got a full-time job at Microsoft. So I think these convert really well. So let's look at the Summer uh, of Code. Basically, Summer of Code programs are mentorship kind of programs where you get matched with an industry mentor who floats some sort of a project that you can help them with and you complete this project over the summer and then in some cases you get a good stipend as well in some cases you get certifications or whatever so there are those kind of benefits but most importantly you can add these on your resume as real projects done with good companies so it's almost as good as an industrial internship it will not pay you as much but the reputation is pretty good. So in Google Summer of Code, it's a global online program. And this, uh, uh, this basically is about open source uh, software development, which is a highly valued uh, skill in the CS world. So if you are a good open source contributor, it really helps you in your job hunt as well. So participants here have to work on 12 plus week programming project under the guidance of mentors from various open source organization. This is open to students as well as beginners who are just getting started in the open source development. I think both bachelors, masters and even working professionals can do this. Um, timeline is uh, so first they try to like, you know, recruit the organizations who will be mentoring you. That period goes on in January and February. But I think Google uh, for 2025, they have announced the accepted organizations on March 17th. And you guys can now start applying as a participant from March 24th up till April 8th. So March 24th to April 8th is the period in which you have to uh, submit your applications and they will announce the results I think in May and the coding pro projects go on between June to September. And in the ending week, you get to present your project and all those things happen. So we are putting the URL down in the description box check it out for the details but definitely very very prestigious i highly recommend you apply for this another thing i like about google summer of code is that they are very transparent in their stipends uh, part right so they do pay you for these projects and um, they have transparently mentioned like you know that how much will be paid uh, when you complete this milestone and what will be the full amount and all 
and uh, if you're curious then obviously they take into consideration where you are doing this project from so for students doing it from india and other low cost location they pay a stipend of roughly 3300 us dollar otherwise if you are in uh, north america somewhere then the stipend is as high as 6600 us dollar so i like that so it's not a free thing you get paid you get certificate you get uh, good reference uh, and obviously a project to show on your resume so it's definitely a win-win do check it out the other program is lfx mentorship program which is run by the linux foundation so again it's similar to google summer of code but it's related to linux foundation so eligibility again here is i think open to all sort of students and professionals the timeline application period opens sometimes in march and deadline would be in april and june to august is the project period so uh, the url is again below i think this is also worth applying then another program is major league hacking fellowship this is a 12 week internship alternative for aspiring software engineers fellows contribute to open source projects receive mentorship and participate in professional development workshops so similar kind of a, uh, structure but they have three tracks they, uh, one is on software engineering, one is on reliability engineering and one is on web 3 engineering. So you can choose your track and this is open to students globally, even high school students, I think. Um, now uh, let's look at the timeline. So for example, software engineering track for summer 2025 will start on May 19th and deadline for applicants from all regions is April 30th. So check out the timeline for whatever track you are interested in. Again, all the details are in the URL below. Next program is Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors program. Now, this program is not a typical summer program. In fact, they keep accepting the applications year around, but you need to go through the website because uh, this is basically a lot of activities are there. You can choose and participate. Uh, this is available for both bachelor's and master's students who are passionate about AI, coding, community leadership because the way they define is that it's a community of students who are passionate about building AI driven solutions with Microsoft technology. I think it's great for building connections and like, you know, network with Microsoft folks because you get mentors assigned uh, from them. You get to learn Microsoft technologies. And by the way, Microsoft is doing really well these days and they're also leading the AI race. So I think that's a very big advantage with this program. You get to organize events. There are student competitions like Imagine Cup. You get to build projects and obviously network with Microsoft folks. Other perks are they give you, I think, certifications. There are free Azure credits, access to exclusive events like Microsoft Build as well. So I've seen some of our clients doing this. This is a good resume building activity. So again, check it out and apply for the ones that you feel are relevant for you. Other than this, then we have something called Redox Summer of Code, which offers a summer program which is especially focused on the Redox operating system, which is a Unix like microkernel kind of operating system written in Rust. So again, very niche, but if that is your area, you can consider this as well. Now this did happen in 2024, but we are still awaiting the deadlines, etc. for 2025. So keep an eye out uh, if, if this is of interest to you. This is Redox OS Summer of Code. The next one is Outreachy, which I really like. They provide three month paid internships with free and open source software projects. They support individuals, especially from underrepresented communities, also women. So like, you know, anybody, anybody who has faced some sort of bias or you're coming from a low developed community, uh, then this program is really beneficial for uh, for you. Now, deadline for summer 2025 is gone. It was in February. It was too early for us to post. But they also have a December cycle uh, for which you have to apply between early August to mid-August. Uh, so if you are interested in this, I think definitely try for the December cycle because that again can help you put some projects on your resume. So this was also good. Um, other than this, pre in previous years, we have seen Alibaba Summer of Code, Meta University Internship, IBM Extreme Blue Internship. There was also some digital program by Adobe. But I couldn't ascertain whether they are being offered this year or not. So I'm not including them as main programs in the list. But these are some of the options you can search for online. 
Um, now, as I said, a summer internship is not like it's not very straightforward. You have to really prepare for it, be proactive about it and apply on time to get really, really good offers. So if you're somebody who is heading for masters this year, like fall 2025, then you should start thinking of job hunt from right now. And this is why, but I know times have changed. So from last year to this year, I think there have been so many more challenges for students to navigate this tough job market. This is why I'm revamping my internship and job hunt masterclass in 2025. If you're interested in joining that, I will be announcing the details probably in next couple of weeks or something. If you're interested in joining the waitlist, I'll leave the URL below. Feel free to um, be on the waitlist. And if that is of relevance to you, you can you can join our community later on for it. So I hope this video helps, especially for CS grads. I know these are not relevant for all the programs, but at least for some of you, because coding is very generic. I think even electrical students can apply for some of these uh, programs, right? So see if relevant. And if you can't find an industrial internship, then definitely do consider going for these programs. I hope this was helpful and I will be seeing you guys next week with another fresh video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.